Okay, do me a huge favor and raise your hands, even though I can't see you, and let me know that you can't stand reading long emails. In this video, I'm going to share with you a tool that I've been using for a little over a year that enables me to use short videos instead of having to write long text emails to my clients. Hey everybody and welcome to the tutorial on using Loom, the video recorder from your browser. In order to start using it, you need to actually open up the extension on Chrome. And to do that, you will need to come to the Chrome web store and you go into the search bar and you just type in Loom and you come down here to Loom Video Recorder and here is the extension and then here you just have to click Add to Chrome as you can see it says Added to Chrome because mine is already there and so once you've done this the icon will appear up here it may be in a different position but it'll appear up here in the search bar area and this is where you would click in order to launch the program. Hey guys, I wanted to come in and share with you a quick tutorial on using Loom. So you can click on this and then it opens up a window that just lets you start to set up things. So you can see now that I've appeared down here in the lower left you can actually move this to any portion of the screen. You can put it to the top or to any side. You can then also make the image of yourself as large as you would want it to be. And I don't look camera ready today, so please forgive me. But I just wanted to come in really quickly. Um, so this shows you that you're going to be recording your screen and your camera. If you only want to record your screen and you don't want your camera on, you can switch to screen. And then here is if you only want to record your camera, then again, you can make this as big as necessary and you can put this wherever you want. A lot of people tend to put it in the center of the screen. So let's go through this as if we're just going to record our screen. The next thing that you want to choose is whether you want to do the full desktop or just your current tab. So if you only select your current tab, anything else that you bring on top of that is not going to be visible. Whereas if you record your full desktop, anything that you bring into this area is going to be recorded. Now just to confirm that you are recording your audio, make sure that it is turned on and then obviously you can see the wavelength here moving. If you have more than one mic and you want to make sure that it's pulling the mic from the right source, you can then uh, click on here and see what it's saying for default. And then here you can then just say, do you want a recording countdown? Do you want to see the control menu, which is all of these things over here? Um, do you want to use a photo for screen only, which is what I've opted to here? If you don't want any of those things, you just simply switch them off. When you are ready, all you need to do is click on start record. It will then ask you what screen do you want to record do you want to record the entire screen or do you want to record an application window if you then say i want to record this entire screen you click share it gives you a countdown you see that your image down here pops up and now we're actually recording so you can then go ahead and do your um, tutorial or whatever your walkthrough is when you are finished you can then just hit the click the check button and that stops your recording. If you need to pause for any reason because you need to, you're just about to get interrupted or you need to cough or what have you, you can hit the pause button. And if you wanna cancel this uh, recording altogether, you don't wanna record it, then you hit the X button. And then we're done and we click the finish. Now, once you're finished, it automatically opens up Loom for you. And you can see in Loom, if it's a longer video, it's gonna show that it's processing. If it's a really short video like this one, it'll pop up right away. You immediately can change the title. So I would highly recommend that you change your title. If during the video recording, you made any sort of a mistake, you can play the video and then and go to the portion where there may have been a mistake and then you can click on the scissor and that allows you in a second you'll be able to see that it allows you this is the area that you can edit you can then move this to be in whatever portion of the video that you want it to be in once you have it where you need it to be then you can click on cut and then publish changes 
and when you did the cut you can then obviously play the video to see if that cut is actually what you wanted and then adjust accordingly and then here it's showing you that it's processing your uh, changes that you um, made so once you're finished all you need to do is you can come here to share you can get a copy of the link you can get the embed code and put this onto your website if you like you can share it on social media on Twitter and on Facebook and then you can also share it in your Gmail which when you click that it opens up your Gmail immediately and then it opens up the email now here you're not seeing um, the video yet but give it some time so let's just say I'm gonna do this as a test for myself I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna click return and that activates the thumbnail image so once you're finished you can then just click send and it's now been emailed I highly recommend using loom to keep track of any sort of onboarding answering the questions that your clients may have anything that will enable you to maintain that um, great customer service that you are known for in your business this is really a brilliant tool the other thing is now they've integrated with slack um, I know that it also integrates really well with Trello for any of you that use Trello you can um, incorporate it into your Trello cards as well okay so take care and I'll see you next time bye